Hello, my name is Rob Reynolds. Welcome to Math 073. In this lesson, we're going to look at section 1.3, solving basic motion problems. Yep, those are word problems. So when you're looking at word problems, you want to familiarize yourself with the problem, uh, translate anything uh, in, from English into a math equation, solve the equation, check the answer, and then make sure you state it using any kind of units, inches, feet, so and so forth. So again, read, reread the problem, make some notes if you have to, choose some variables. Drawings really help um, in these scenarios. Look up some formulas if you don't know the formulas. Um, one of the formulas that often ki time comes up is distance equals rate times time when you're dealing with motion. Um, and then look for any patterns that uh, you might see from one problem to the next problem. So again, drawing pictures and coming up with formulas are probably going to be the most important thing. So let's look at the first example together. Uh, 480 inch piece pipe, so I'm going to draw a pipe and label it 480 inches. It's cut into two pieces. One piece is three times that of the other piece. So if this piece is x, this piece is three times x. So I'm letting my variable be the unknown piece, but then I've got another unknown piece, which is three times that unknown piece. So if this is the first piece, then the second piece is three times that of the first piece. And it says find the length of each piece. Well, I know that this total distance is 3x plus x, and we'll set that equal to 480. And so this is 4x equals 480, and x will turn out to be 120. So then you want to go back and uh, check that answer. So here's your check, and then state the answer, 360 inches. So the answer is going to be with some units. The faculty discount at a bookstore is 15%. If a sweatshirt after the discount was 32, so this is what you actually walked out of the store for. They want to know what's the original price um, after it was. Um, so you paid 15% less and walked out the door with only paying 32.30, but the original price is going to be a little bit higher. I mean, you could just sit there and guess. Oh, if the original price was 40 bucks, then you could see. Oh, let's take off the 15% and. Um, let's find 15% of that and then sub take 15% and then subtract that off and just see. But the guessing and checking is just going to take way too long. So the book's approach on this I think is a little bit different than uh, my approach. I like to look at this formula because you're going to be using this formula later um, in uh, this chapter. This is mostly used for uh, basic interest problems. A is the amount after wouldn't hurt to look at this formula now. Uh, P is the principal, am principal amount. It stands for the original amount. And R is a rate. And so they gave me a, a rate. They gave me um, this 3230 is actually the amount after. So I'm kind of an equ equations kind of guy. So we can just plug and chug. Find the original amount. Find P. If, now be careful, 1 plus means I'm increasing. This is not an increase rate. It, this is a discount. So this is a decrease. So instead of 1 plus the rate, I'm going to do 1 minus the rate, which is 15%. And 1 minus that 15% um, is 0.85. And so to finish this off, all I need to do is divide both sides by Uh, 0.85. And I think it comes out that the original price was around $38. You can check that on your calculator. I'm going to go to the next slide because I think the author has done this as well. Again, their approach is a little bit different. You're welcome to read through this, but um, I'm not as big fan. He doesn't use that formula that I use. How he goes from here to here is sometimes a mystery to students, so I kind of like that formula. A is equal to P1, and since it was a discount, it was minus the rate. Uh, you can choose uh, what method works best for you. I'll move on. Um,
if you're constructing a triangular kite. So I'm going to draw a triangle, but I'm not going to worry about um, what that triangle looks like. Um, it could be anything. So I'll draw a triangular kite. I'm going to label some things. The second angle um, of the kite is three times as large as the first. Well, if the first one is x, then this will be three times that of x, 3x. And then it says that the third angle is 10 more. Well, more than means, well, more than the first. Well, the first was just x. So 10 more than x is x plus 10. So continuing this problem, I know something about uh, triangles. And it says find the measure of each angle. Well, I know that the sum of the degrees, again, this is a formula that you need to know, the sum of uh, the degrees of any triangle is 180. So I'm going to add it up. x plus 3x plus x plus 10 better equal 180. And so x plus 3x is a, a 4 plus another x. This is a 5x. I'll subtract off 10 and divide by 5. 170 divided by 5 is 34. I'd go back and check it. If this is, uh, uh, let's answer the question. If one angle is 34, the other angle is going to be 44 because it's 10 more. And then uh, the last angle is going to be uh, 34 times 3 because I know it's 3 times the amount. So that's uh, 102. So I would answer the question um, by saying that all the, there they are. So, and then I'd stick the word degrees on it. I got 34, 44, and 102 degrees. This next example says I have an apartment house. Uh, you need to know what the word consecutively means. So consecutive means after three, I have a four. And I have a, these are called consecutive numbers. So notice if this is x, the next number would be x plus one. The next consecutive number would be x plus two, because I just keep adding uh, consecutive numbers. So uh, how many consecutive numbers here? It says the sum of a number and just the next number. So all I need to worry about is x plus the next number, which would be x plus 1. And it says it is. So is means equals uh, 723. So this is a total of uh, 2x. Sorry about that. Um, oops. I better try an eraser here. I better get a 2x. Uh, plus 1 is 723. I'll subtract off 1. And I'll divide by 2, 361. Then I'm going to answer the question, because I'm not done. It says, what are the two numbers? And you only have one number. So again, to answer the questions, I need to either put units, or I might have to come up with another number. In this case, 361 and uh, 362 are the two consecutive numbers. And so the final solution looks like the apartment numbers are 361, 362. All right, last example. Um, it says an airplane is flying. I'm terrible at drawing airplanes. OK, so boom. Um, it's Oh, he's already uh, 12,000 feet up into the air. And he's been ordered to ascend, it's going to go up, and then cruise at 31,200 feet. <coughs> Excuse me. So to find out the difference here, he's already at 12,000. So he's got to rise a total distance here of uh, 19,200 feet, which is the difference. So first of all, I know that he's at 12,000. He starts here. He's got to get up to. 31,000, so I know that the distance that he needs to climb is 19,200. The next thing I see is they give me a rate, a rate of 32. So notice, they gave me distance, they gave me rate, so that's a sure sign I'm probably going to use distance equals rate times time. And I'm just going to plug some numbers in. They gave me the distance of 19,200. They gave me the rate of 3,200. 
and they said how long find the time and I can do that by dividing everything through by 3200 and so T is equal to about 6 but I don't want to leave the answer 6 uh, because it says how long so I got to figure out is that 6 minutes is it 6 hours and again you're going to just have to read uh, to find out um, it's 3,200 feet per minute so I again stating the final solution um, I would say six minutes to reach the cruising altitude all right I hope you found this lesson helpful if you have additional questions please feel free to email me good luck